Coach D and Noah. What's up, man? Oh, and Charlie. Charlie's in the back. We're in our basement, and we are going over our Coach D's at-home conditioning and skills practice schedule. Uh, if you are following along, we're going to walk you through our Schedule 1. Now, if you don't have this, make sure you subscribe to Flag Football with Coach D. You can download this for free, and you can follow along. Noah and I are going to show you exactly how it's done. So, let's start with our stretching. Now, Noah's a gymnast, so he's got some pretty good skills with this. So, if he has some kind of edits or like his own stretches, he might show us some of that if that's cool. You good with that? Yeah. All right, cool. First thing we're gonna do is 20 windmills. Now when I think windmills, I think something like this. Noah in gymnastics, he does those. So really we're just going 10 each way, All right? He might just spend 20, 20 seconds or 20 times doing that. Now I'm gonna go the other way. Right, so now we're going the other way. We're just warming up. Why do we do these, Noah? What does that do? Stretches right here. Your shoulders? Yeah. Okay, that's important. All right, then we move on to neck rolls. Show me a neck roll. Those are hard. We go 10 in each direction, so one, two. Now you guys don't do this much in, in gymnastics, right? Uh, we've never. <laughs> We've never done this. Okay, well in, in us, because we're going to be doing some quick moves, we want to make sure that our neck is nice and loose. Our, our head and our neck are nice and loose so we don't get a crick in our neck. Cool. Now we're going to do jumping jacks. We know how to do these, so let's do, count them out, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Yeah. Now let's move to 30 seconds arm across our body. This one's pretty easy. Cool. Now what is this stretching? Just our shoulders again? Okay. Let's go 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, Nine thirty. Do you guys stretch every day? Yeah. In gymnastics? Yeah. We run across the hall. You run across? You run? Oh, we'll run in a second. All right. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Awesome. Now we're going to reach our toes. So we can either... You can either do down here like this, or Noah and I were talking about, you can lay on the ground. You can either spread it out, or Noah's gonna do it like that. Let's do 30 seconds. What's that? You like it like that? Eight, nine, 10. Now how about if you can't reach your toes? 11, 12, is it okay to be like this? Yeah. 13, 14, oh, okay. So reach the back of your, your thighs. All right. Then touching me. And the more and more you do it, the better and better you'll get. Cool. 28, 29, and 30. Nice. Now let's do our butterflies. Now with our butterflies, we want to try to get our knees down as close as possible. No one's super flexible, so he can do that. There's no way I'm getting down there. But now we're just stretching out our hamstrings. Charlie is a liquor for sure. <laughs> She's all over you. <laughs> it's the thing about being at home, you know, you find something to do, you involve the dogs or whatever, that's cool. All right, cool. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run, we're gonna jog wall to wall um, across. Those are some other stretches that Noah does for, for gymnastics. So if you have your own, go ahead and feel free to put those in. All right, Noah, let's get up. We're gonna use you guys as our, our first wall, and then we're gonna run back to that wall. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, 
five. Okay? You want to race? Sure. I'll race you. Okay. We're jogging, but, you know, make it fun. Charlie, you better watch out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. One. Two. You're going to try to take me out? What? Four. Three. Bring it. Bring it. Oh. Four. Five. All right. Now you're going to do lunges. So lunges all the way over and back is one. And we're going to do this twice. Nice. I'm worn out. Now the thing about conditioning, you're going to be worn out the first couple times you do this. But then after a while, after a month of being at home, right? You'll get better and better at it. So, come on. One more time through. Whoo! The old man is breathing heavy. Oh. We might need a break after this. You might want to pause this video. Now, look, I like to do it with the kids, right? So coach, make sure, or parents, make sure you're doing it with the kids. Get some water, make sure that you're hydrated. Um, and at the very beginning of this, this packet, I give you some guidelines and some best practices on, you know, what to do. Like, don't do it halfway, act like you're doing you know, you're, you're almost like it's game time. So anyway, there's several guidelines as we go through this. I'm exhausted, but hey, that's what it's all about. Connecting with your kids, having some fun, keeping them healthy, and keeping it going. Now, we're gonna move into, let's turn back to our schedule one. Now that we're nice and warmed up, now we're gonna take about 20 minutes for conditioning, speed, and agility. First thing we're gonna focus in on is this agility ladder. Now, it gives you some links here. So, if you don't have an agility ladder, you could put out cans, you could put out t-shirts, you could put out, and in the video, I tell you exactly what to do. But Noah and I are now gonna walk through this. You do six different, yeah, moves. So, Noah and I are gonna show you the grasshopper and some other ones. And then you do that twice through. So each of you are gonna go twice through. So let's go ahead and show them how it's done. I'm gonna be doing the bouncy ball. You gonna be doing the bouncy ball? Let me see what that looks like. Ooh. Nice. Good, and as soon as he's done, then I'll follow suit and I'll do it. And as you get better and better, you can move a little faster. Go, do the same thing. You go twice through each move, twice through each move. That's all right, if you mess up, no big deal. Again, if you don't have an agility ladder, that is okay. You can use cans or anything else. All right, what's next? What you got for us? High knees. High knees, let's see it. Feel free to make them up as well. This is supposed to be fun. I like to pump my arms because when I pump my arms, it gives me that speed. And as a flag football player, I'm gonna want to be able to do that down the track. Or, you know, I wanna be able to get that speed going. Go ahead, what do you got? Ooh, okay. That's all right. What's that called? The double tap. The double tap. Double tap, double tap, double tap. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, same thing, keep, keep with the double tap. Each time, twice through. Oh yeah, see how he's getting that? Nice, it helps with your feet. If you can get your feet moving, whoo, nice one. What you got? You can take the next one. Okay, remember, 
I think we have one like this. Whew. What was this called? Maybe like the hopscotch or... Oh yeah, hopscotch. Okay. Yeah. Yep, nice. Oops. That's all right. If you mess up a little bit, that's, that's okay. You get better and better as you do it. Guys, this is gonna help. This is gonna help with all your speed, all your agility, being able to move side to side, your cutting, everything. You got anything else for us? One foot in, a couple of steps out. Yep, good, good, good. That's all right, yes. All right. Hit it. There it is, there it is. All right, you got one more for us? Anything? Grasshopper? Keep them up. All right, balls of your feet. I see it. Yeah. You're faster and faster at this. Then you. This is just body awareness. Get it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that is your agility ladder. Now, I like to do this at the beginning of every practice, having it out there, but for conditioning at home, it's a great way to get us rocking and rolling, get our feet moving. All right, now what we're gonna do is 10-10 sprints. I'm a little nervous. I <laughs> This is the worst. We're gonna show you, we're gonna go five times through it, but basically it's 10 push-ups, right? And then 10 lunges, right? And then, our sprints. So we put out four cones here, okay? And you'll see how we do it. We're going five times through. No one's gonna be on this side. I'm gonna do on this side. We'll see how it goes. sprints. Touch that first cone. Back. Touch the second cone. Back. Touch that third cone. I'm back. That's one. <laughs> Let's go. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's just to take breaks as you need it. Oh, no, obviously doesn't need breaks. Coach D does. Uh, 
Wow. <laughs> now, make sure you're staying safe. If you need some water, make sure you grab it. Dad. Now it's done. <sighs> Coach Dean needs one more. Sprints. Whew. Crushing them. All right, I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. Noah's like, whatever. Right? <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the ladder cut. So you saw us do the agility ladder six moves. Now Noah and I are going to go through the ladder with Charlie there. Hey, you never know. And then each of these cones, we're going to cut on each of these cones. So Noah, show us a quick cut. If you came out of this, how would you cut on that? If I was coming out of here, how would I cut through these four cones? Let me see that. Boom, 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 boom. So you see how his, his foot that's closest to the cone is going to really hit that and plant, and then his body is going to move the other direction. So now we're going to do five of those. Okay, five all the way through. On your mark, you get set, you can do any type of thing you want on, on the ladder. And then you go through it and then you come back around. Yep. Yeah. Hey Mark, get set, go. Hit it, really hit it hard. Hit that hard. Yep. And then you come back. Ha! Go. Now you can grab a football so you're practicing with the football. Come on, baby. Uh -oh. Moving through, go. As you can tell, we are moving at a nice speed. Hit me. Hit me, baby. Get the speed. Nice. What do we got, four? Or is this five? Let's say this is four. One more time. Last time, last time. Oh, this is four for me. Last one, bud. Do whatever you want. Okay, okay. It's going to keep the same. I'm going to try something different with my ladder. Taking me forever. I really want to wear myself out. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. That is the ladder cut. Get it, Noah. What? Right. Now we're going to go back to some heavy duty conditioning. Um, I'm going to be worn out, Noah, again, not even touched. But here we go. This one's called the five yard stance sprint. So we set out four cones, two, three, four. Each one is about five yards apart. Now, if you don't have that much space, you can either be outside or lighten it up a little bit. That's all right. Two, three yards each. That's okay. You'll see what we do. But the point of it is to get back into your stance every time. So this is our running back stance. And then our wide receiver stance is a little bit more like this. I've got a flat back, one foot in front of the other. I'll have my hands down. So either stance, we want to get back into our stance every time. What stance okay. are you going to do? I think I'll probably do the wide receiver stance since you're going to do the, yeah. You're going to do the wide, you're going to do the running back stance, right? Cool. So let us show you how it's done. Let's do it. You want to start? Okay. Yep. Come on back, get into your stance. Yep, good. 
So what we're working on is I want him to yeah, remember what that stance feels like. So get back into a running back stance. Yep, nice. Good. So that's one. Now we can go at the same time if you want, now that you beat me. This is my stance, right? This is a run or a uh, wide receiver stance. Get back into my stance. Get back into my stance. Get back into my stance. All right? Every time I want to get back into that stance. So why am I doing this? Every time, if I don't have much time in between my, my plays, I come out of my huddle, I want the kids to be able to run right back into an easy stance. So they start to get their body to know exactly what a proper stance looks like. So if you are um, doing a running back stance, you have your legs a little bit further apart than shoulder, right? And you can have your arms down or you can have them on your knees, that's okay. But this is a running back stance. They're about to get the ball just like that. So if you wanna have them practice the bread basket as well, that's okay, all right? Yeah, nice. So it's all about getting that stance right. All right, guys, got a bunch more to do. Here we go. I did all five. You did all five? Yeah. Oh, whoops. You want to turn it off? Peace. All right, after you've taken your five minute break, now it's time to jump into drills. So we've taken a little bit of break. Now we're going to jump into some flag pulling drills. This first one is called the gauntlet. What we've done is set out four cones just like this. You can see them, right? So you got, let's say, one, two, three. And then four is up top. And my daughter, Viviana, has joined us. She's gonna be rooting us on as we do it. Why not? All right. Um, so first we wanna talk about some key principles. Noah's gonna share a couple things that he knows about flag pulling. So what are some good defense kind of uh, techniques? Um, so you're supposed to pull from the handle, not down here, because because if you do that, then it will just slip right off. But if you hold it from here, it, it won't, your hand won't slip off. So grab my handle real quick. And then if I'm trying to juke, he's right, boom, it'll just pull right off. Nice. So grabbing from the handle, what else? Um, if someone's trying to juke you out, then you, you should just shuffle. Mm. And... And when you, and then they have no place to go. Okay. And then your, the rest of your teammates on your side will grab their flags. Nice, that's great. Now, how do I know when you're shuffling? So get in front of me, as I move, turn around. You can have a butt over there. What are you looking at when you're shuffling? If I'm gonna try to juke you out, let's say I have the ball, what are you looking at? The ball. You're looking at the ball? What about right? Here. That's right. You want to look at the hips. So then you know, how do you know where to shuffle? Shuffle with me, baby. I'm going to get, boom. So see what he's doing? He is, he is shuffling and he's, sh go ahead and turn around. Noah is, is, he is staying square. Go ahead. Get with me. Get with me. You're the defender. You're the defender. <laughs> So no matter where I go, he's watching right here so that he squares up with me. So that he is squared up and he is right in front of me the whole time. That's great. Another one, as you see Noah, he gets big. So he makes himself big as he's going across. 
So with this gauntlet, let's put this down. I'm gonna try to get past Noah. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm gonna try to get past him, right? <laughs> and he's gonna go real speed. So you be the defender, I'm gonna come this way. Uh, another fun way to practice catching is for him to throw the ball to me before we go. Now, these are out of bounds, so I've gotta stay in bounds, and as a running back, I want to try to juke or I want to make some moves, you know, to be able to, to get the end zone. No, nope, that's the snake. We'll be doing that next. The gauntlet is straight on. We're going. We're going to go fast. Here we go. Ready to go. <laughs> nice. Another thing you notice what he did is he went with two hands. So he also, as he was shuffling and getting big, he was going two hands to pull that flag. All right, now we switch. Oh, nice spin move. Nice spin move. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Let's do it. We are going to do 10. 10 times through. Oh, back again here. Or is it my turn? Is it my turn? Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Here we go. You're going to say. Here we go. This is our second one. <laughs> I might have stepped out of bounds, though. All right, go down. Oh, pass it. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> That's a tough one. Go. Go ahead, you can talk. V. I'll just put up the speed. That one's called the burst, where you kind of sit for a minute and then boom, full speed. Here we go. Yes. Now, if you want to play outside, you can spread it out a little bit more. We're in a tight, tight space, so it's a little bit harder. Well, let's keep going. All right, let's say four, right? <laughs> nice, good job. All right, here we go, here we go. One on one, the gauntlet. Oh, nice, nice try, nice try. That was good. Now look, parents, I don't want you to be easy. Don't go easy on these kids. <laughs> Here we go, my turn. He's not going easy on me. I'll tell you that much. Oh man, I was trying to get low. Get low, it's tough. Nice. We always have sportsmanship so we don't throw the, throw the flag down to give it right back, so. Oh, he got me. Nice little spin move. That was good. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Pete. Thanks. Let's just say this is seven. <laughs> the old man. Uh-oh. 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 All right, to move this along, you guys can take your time on it. But to move it along, we'll make this our last one. Here we go. Oh, you want to do a few more? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ah, nice. Now, we want to coach in the moment there. You know, you got to make sure you can't jump to get that first down. So in our league, I'm not allowed to jump to try to get that first down or to try to get the end zone. So you got to make sure you're not doing that. Very nice though. Oh, you want to do it again? Here we go. That's coaching in the moment so they remember. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance. Okay. Nice. Yeah, still stuck me. Took my pants down. Watch out. <laughs> you know, this was the first thing that Noah and I was, would do in the park. We'd go out, and we didn't have flags like this. We went to Target, and we had just Target flags. And we didn't have cones. We, uh, I think we had, like, T-shirts or something like that. My daughter was out there. So it's a great way to just get started, 
get used to like, you know, moving and body awareness. It's a lot of fun. All right, so that is the gauntlet. All right, everybody, now we're gonna move to our sideline drill. So if you have your paper, you can see the sideline drill is next. Uh, it does have a video link, so if you wanna see that, uh, it's literally just us showing you exactly what it looks like, but we'll walk it out for you here. Um, first thing that we've done is we've created a sideline over here with our orange cones. So again, if you don't have cones, just set something out so you have a clear sideline. Then what we've done, all right, watch out for one second, is we have about two yards in from the sideline, we have this first cone. Okay, this is gonna be our kind of point of attack, our, our point where we're gonna be meeting the offense and defense player. And then what we have is we have a running back situation back here. Okay, so our running backs are way back here, and then our defender is right up here. You can see it right there. So that's how we've set it out. This is about probably five to seven yards, depending how far away from that. Nice, nice, good one. <laughs> and then that one is the same. So you want this distance from here to here, the same distance as this, as from here to there, because you're basically going to be meeting. When you call ready, go, both of you are gonna be meeting at that point right there. All right, let's show them how it goes. Right. Remember how this, this goes? So you are gonna start over here as a running back, and you're gonna to try to get to the sideline, and you're gonna to try to win this sideline. You're gonna basically try to beat me here so that you can, right? So you can score a touchdown. Because we all know that if you get to the sideline before a defender can get to you, you're gone. Does that make sense? Cool. So that's how that goes. And then I'm going to try to beat you. Noah, I'm going to try to beat you and pull your flag before you get over here. Now, Noah cannot juke in, right? If I get here and I block this off, if I block the sideline so he can't go this way, as soon as he gets to this cone, he can, he can do a nice cut in and juke this way. That is okay. But you can't make a move until you get to this point. Let's see how it goes. Let's go half speed first. Right? Half speed first, meaning half speed's about like this. Cool? And then we'll go full speed. Ready, go. So I'm trying to beat you here. If you do that, oh, nice. You see that juke? That was a nice juke. All right, what's that? You want to go full? Okay. Your goal is to win that sideline, to beat me to that sideline so you can go all the way down. Ready, go. Ah, nice. So that's a good juke. Good. Let's go again. Nope. Let's go a couple times. You know, again, you don't want to always juke in because if he jukes in, I might have some other players in here. His goal is really to win that sideline, to beat me there. Ready, go. I'm going to give him a second. <laughs> I think I just pulled his, his shorts. Did I get a, a big pull? <laughs> All right, let's try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to grab at the handle. Grab at the handle. All right, ready, go. Ah, got him. Nice. All right, my turn. Another thing you want to do is you want to practice both sides. So your running back also wants to be here, so you get both sides. Here we go. Now I'm going to go. You want me to go? You're the defender. I'm trying to make it there. You ready? Ready, here you go. Oh, yeah. Little stutter step, and I won that sideline. Okay, so now we've gone three times. We want to do this. How many times, bud? Oh, we're doing this 20 times, so that's three. Here we go. Ready, go. Yeah. That's four. I gotta win that sideline. Ready, go. Ah, darn. Nice one. All right, your turn. Here you go. Ready, go. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do it. All right, now I'm going to try to go from here. You go there. What not? Ready, go. Ah, yeah, baby. <laughs> nice job. 
Thanks, Keith. Thanks. Was that six? All right, here we go. We're ready to go. Oh, I'll take it. Seven. Here we go. Ready to go. That's too slow. Eight. All right, you go there. Here you go, bud. Ready to go. Oh. You want me to throw it to you again? That's fine. Go. Ready, go. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. Nice try, nice try. Good job, Eve. Oh, yeah, nine. Nice. What's that? You want me to go the whole time? Yeah, right. All right, here we go. Ten. See ya. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice try. All right. Here goes 11. Ready, go. <laughs> All right, so another thing that you want to do on the defense is you want to break down once you get there. If you beat them to the sideline, come on over, Noah. So if Noah gets there first, he wants to block off that sideline. You big right there? Yeah, he wants to block that off. So as I come in, I'm either going to have to run out of bounds Right? Or I'm going to have to cut into his friends, to his buddies. So you always want to get there, break down, and get big. Cool? All right. Let's just say it's 15. Don't tell me. No? 11? Okay. Ready, go. Good job. So you're now grabbing at the, he's not grabbing at the handle. He's now grabbing down here. Now, no, I want you to actually try to get me to that sideline, okay? Uh -oh. Otherwise, okay. I'll just go straight down. Here's another thing real quick. You see that he's kind of waiting right here? He knows I have to cut in for this drill to work. And you know what? I'm going to have you be the defender over here. Be the defender over here. Because if he stops there, then I'm just going to run straight down the sideline. Okay. this one's closer. Okay, move it back a little bit. Move it back. We'll make it like that. Boom. Good? All right. Feel free to adjust. Ready, go. Ah. See? He forced me out of bounds. Excellent job. Wait, so you lost? Yeah, I lost. He forced me out of bounds. Ready, go. Ah, see ya. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Thanks, V. It's awesome having a little, little support over here, a little encouragement. All right, go. Oh, 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 oh. see ya. <laughs> that time. What we got, Noah? What we got? 14. 14, no way. 15? No, 14. Okay. All ready, go. <laughs> nice he just stood there, nice waited. All right, let's see. It's Noah's turn Mommy. on defense. Ready, go. Ah! Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. There's no reason to fall. I always say it. Oh, I thought you got my foot. Nope, I sure didn't. You Come on back. Have. Ready, go. That was kind of weak. That was weak on my fault. <laughs> I started too early. I started a little bit too early. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Are we 18? Oh, sure. See ya. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Last one. 19. Oh, we got plenty more to do. Plenty more to do, my man. Ready to go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Start again. Coach G's going a little bit too early. Yep. Ready. Go. Ah, yeah. Nice try, nice try. So, there we go. That is the sideline drill. Create a sideline, 
and then try to win or defend that sideline. Good job. Good job. All right, now what we're gonna do are the burpee catches. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Yep, Noah's gonna do 10 and then I'll do 10. Um, what we wanna focus on is when we come out of the burpee, we wanna make sure that our hands are in the diamond. What we're trying to do is make sure that we're unconscious competence. This means that without even thinking, we have our hands in the diamond. We have our hands in the diamond. We're catching properly. So you'll see Noah probably try to catch like this. I'm gonna coach him in the moment to try to get his hands like this, right when he comes up out of the burpee. Can All I right, take Noah. these flags off? Yeah, you can take the flag off. Cool, you can take your flags off, no problem. Let's go. Come on. So you're gonna be a uh, parent or coach. You're gonna be uh, throwing the ball to them. Uh, let's show them how it's done. <clears throat> Goes right to it. Boom. See those hands? Right into the burpee. Go. That's one. Yep. Two. See how his hands are starting to get better and better every time. Yep. It's called the burpee catch. You come up and automatically you want to have your hands ready to catch. Yep. Good. That's four. <clears throat> Here we go. Five. Excellent job. That's six. Good, keep going, baby. And then I'm gonna do them. <clears throat> That's seven. Can we have some cheering back there? Come on, girl. <laughs> That's eight. I know it's tiring. This is conditioning, baby. There it is. Trust me, I'm about to do it. I'm gonna die. If Noah's dying, I'm gonna be dying. <laughs> is it tough? Is it hard? Is it hard, bud? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard? All right, now we're switching. We're over there. All right, here goes Dad. All right, you stand over there so that you can see it. All right, here we go. Diamond. Good. Two. Diamond. Three. Four. Five. What was that? Six. Seven. Go ahead, you can coach me, man. You have to keep your legs together. Do I have to keep my legs together? How many is that? Nine. Nine? Is this nine or is this ten? I think it's nine. Okay, nine. Come on, come on. Alright, so come on over. So um, look, we want to do this with them, parents and coaches, because if I'm having him do it all the time, right, wasn't that good to like see me struggle? Yeah. No? Yeah, <laughs> we want to show him by example. So, uh, any good principles coming out of there? Anything good? You know, you saw his hands slowly but surely get closer and closer, so every time we've got our hands like this, so we're catching it correctly. That is the burpee catch. All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to our three second throw. What we're working on here is accuracy and decision making. We've got Viviana now, who's helping us out. She's gonna get ready and throw, be the quarterback. This is a quarterback drill. We have Noah and myself, we're gonna go through this. So what we've done is we've set out three little targets. So you could use a laundry basket, you could use uh, a a chair, you could use anything like this. So we have uh, a stool here. In the back, we have a little ladder, right? And then we have another stool over there as well. So what Noah's gonna do, we've got a couple footballs, and if you don't have a lot of footballs or if you don't even have any, it's okay. Just use some kind of ball and you're gonna work on throwing it to one of these spots. So you can decide, Noah, any one of these, and Viviana, you can decide when you're going, whichever one you want to go to. And sometimes if you want to like pump one way, I'm going to throw to that stool, but then you fake them out and you throw it to this, that is okay. But they only have three seconds to make the decision and get rid of the football. Now we know that most, most leagues have seven seconds. You usually have seven seconds to throw the ball. But in this, we want it to be done in three seconds. Now, another thing you can do, Noah and Viviana, you guys can move around as the quarterback. 
So in that three seconds, if you want to stand and do it, that's fine. Or if you want to like move around and throw it, that's okay as well. But they're going to go 10 times each. Let's get it started. Noah, you ready? Every time he goes, I want him to come back and say, ready, go. One, two, three. And I'll count out the three seconds. Are you ready? You know what to do? So get in your quarterback stance as if you were going to get the, the ball from the quarterback. Get a straight back. Yep, look up. Yep, as if you're the quarterback. This is a good quarterback stance. Okay. You're going to say, ready, go. And then you have three seconds to throw it to whichever target you want. You ready? Mm -hmm. You're going to say it as loud as you possibly can. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice. Next. Great. Yep. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice try. Go. Ready, go. One, two, three. Oh, you can go in one second. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Ready, go. Go ahead. Nice. Go. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice. Hit it. Ready, go. One, two, three. Three, nice. All right, let me give you a few more. Here, grab that ball. Ready, I want them to go 10 times. Go. go, one, two, three. Ooh. And you want to make sure it's not too low. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice. Last one. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice. Cool. All right. Now I have to grab these balls. I'm going to line it up with the other. Let's go. Come on. Help me grab the balls, bud. Need any help. Now we're going to line it up for Viviana. <clears throat> All right, Bibi. You saw him do it. It's your turn now. So you do it like this? Or like just this? so. Uh, another way to throw the ball is you want to throw it just like this. Over your okay. shoulder. Okay. No, you're not going to go like, like this. Here, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's coach her. Yep. And remember, let's let's watch her hands right now. You want to have your, you want to grab the ball just like that. Okay. You want to have your, your hands at the top of the laces. I remember when you taught me. Yeah. Right. That's the way to get that spiral going. Okay. All right. If you and I would say one hand if you can. If you can't do it, two hands is fine. So you're gonna say ready go. Noah, can you stand back? Now it's your turn. You got three seconds to do it. Remember, you want to grab it just like this. This is called coaching in the moment. It's okay to coach them in the moment. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Ready, go. One, two, three. Oh. Nice try. Go. Next one. Ready, go. One, two. Oh, nice. Okay. Ready, go. Oh, okay. And you have. You have a couple seconds. So. Ready, Really yeah. aim. Nice. Now what I want you to do is I want you to step back instead of having to, to do this the whole time. Well, no, what you can do is instead of having to throw like this, you can step back and then get comfortable and find a spot. Okay? This it's a big one. <laughs> you want to use this one instead? Okay. Ready, go. Okay, all right. There's also one right there. Mm -hmm. Ready, go. Nice. Okay, let's grab the balls, bud. <clears throat> so what was that? Five or six? <laughs> Here we go. I don't know, six. Okay, good. Now, remember, Vivi, when I step back, you want to take a couple steps back, decide where you're going to throw it. You can throw it to this one. All right? There's one right there. Ready, go. Nice, Vivi. No, that's okay. That was great. You, st you stepped back. That was perfect. Ready, go. Yep. Nice. That's a good one. Ready, go. Okay. Remember, you can get comfortable in your stance. It's getting hard, huh? <laughs> All right. Two more. Ready, go. Okay. That's eight. Nice. That's ten. That's ten. Oh, is that ten? Yeah. Let's give one, her one. Two, three, four. Let's give her one more. Ready, go. Ooh, long one. Nice. All right, guys, help me. Help me grab some balls. Line them up. Get the old dad. 
No, come on, bud. You know you're on video just sitting there, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Coach D's going to try it. So watch, watch how I get into my stance. I have three seconds to let go of it. Who's going to count off three? Me. Oh, both of them want to do it. Okay, it's going to go either, you know, first Noah, then Vivi, then Noah, then Vivi. Okay, here we go. Step back a little bit. You can stand on this side. One, two, three. Okay. Yep, just one. Two. And I have to make a decision on where I'm going to throw. Here we go. Ready, go. One, two, three. Ready, go. One, two, three. We count many times. Ready, go. One, two, three. Ready, go. One, two, three. Okay. Ready, <laughs> go. One, okay. two, three. It was your turn. <laughs> Ready, go. One, two, three. Here we go. You see how I'm moving through it? I want to move it through. Here we go. Ready, go. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I'm knocking them all over. One. Ready, go. One, two, three. Who do I have? How many was that? Eight? Yeah. Let's see, it's eight. Ready, go. One, two, three. We can talk together. Okay. Ready, go. One, two, three. <laughs> and that is the three seconds. Whew, throw. Nice. You want to say bye? See you. See you guys. Woo. Bye. Bye. All right, everyone, for our last drill, what we're doing is we're working on both our quarterback skills and our wide receivers. So our throwing and our catching skills. Now, if you have gloves, now would be a great time to put those on. But here's what we have done. We have set out five of our favorite like routes is what we call these five routes so here you'll see we have where the wide receiver is going to start the quarterback is going to start on that blue so the wide receiver starts here you're going to be the quarterback right now i'm just going to walk these out real quick so go ahead and grab a ball any of the balls that you want so our first, our first one is going to be an out pattern. Now our out pattern is going to go to the yellow, right from here to the yellow, and then it's going to come out, and Noah's going to throw the ball to me right here. So that is an out pattern. <clears throat> you want to show them? Here we go. You say ready, go, I move. Ready, go. Oh, that was a bad throw. <laughs> now. What we've realized is that we need cleats when we do a lot of these. That's why you want cleats, but that's all right. If you fall, that's okay. We're gonna do an out pattern again. Ready, go. Nice, cool. Now let's do an in pattern. He's gonna run to the yellow, and then he's gonna run to that, that cone right there in the middle. Ready, go. Oh, oh. And make sure when you're catching, if you're catching below your waist, you're catching with your pinkies. All right, make sure you're catching with those pinkies. Here we go. Yeah. Now we're going to do a quick slant. Let's just slow him. Now he's going to run right to this orange. Right to the orange. Here we go. Ready, go. And you want to keep... So Noah wants to keep running. He doesn't want to pause here. So he kind of waited for me to throw it. Uh-uh. He wants to run full speed all the way through this because as the defender is kind of standing here, we want to catch it on the run. Let's try that one more time. Go full speed. It's up to me to meet you right here. Ready, go. Full speed. Yep. Get those hands going. And this is what we're practicing. We're practicing getting our hands back. If you haven't played flag football in a long time, then now's the time. Remember, anything below the waist is pinkies down here, right? Anything above the waist is gonna be the diamond. 
And we are also on all other social media platforms. We are doing it this year. So make sure you're following us, liking, commenting all across the board. We are encouraging greatness all day, every day. We'll see you next time. Make sure that you guys coaching your kids to make hard cuts. If I'm gonna make a post, I wanna hit that cone hard. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> I wanna hit that hard. So what I've done is I've put out different colors for where you're actually gonna be throwing the ball or catching the ball. Post. Here we go. Ready, go. Nice throw, Noah. That's fantastic. Let's throw him a, a fly this time. So the fly is straight ahead all the way through, and he's going to throw it over my shoulder. I'm going to put my pinkies together to catch that over my shoulder. One, five of each one, then switch. So let's do it. Tell me what you want to do. Ready, go. You want to throw it right inside, make that. Why does it make that cut? What's next? receiver to the certain points very nice so as we do that now we do five of each one now let me get it coming back Close. ready go oh that's why we that's why we practice and if your kids are used to having gloves you gotta make sure, hey, all right. Tomorrow, let's make sure we have our gloves. Let's do our post again. Ready to go. To catch, he's catching everything with his chest. He's trying to catch everything with his chest like this. That's why we practice. You got to get back to this. Let's do it again. Let me see you catch it with your hands. Let me see your hands out. Yep, that's how it's going to be. Ready to go? Catch it with your hands. Yep, good. All right, here we go. A couple more. Let's do the end. We'll do in and then fly and then we're done. Ready to go? Throw, bad throw. Come on, Coach D. Come on, Coach D. You're also working on your quarterback skills. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's try that one again. That was sloppy. Ready to go? There we go. There we go. Again, I would tell Noah, you gotta stop catching like this. Catch everything like this. Try to catch it in front of you with your hands. Let's go fly. Ready to go? 
he's still wanting to catch like this. So he and I now need to coach in the moment. And now we're just gonna do another drill where we just go back and forth, where he learns to catch above his, above his uh, wit, rate, uh, waist is this, and below is down here. There's none of this. All right, good. Excellent job. All right, so our last thing is we chatted up a little bit. All right, now that we've done the entire schedule, the entire workout Woo! here, whoo! <laughs> now it says the last thing, we take five minutes uh, or thereabout and we ask a couple recap questions. So Noah, um, how did you improve as a player today? Um, I, I kind of learned better like how to kind of like not how catch as this like right when someone's trying to throw catch like this and um to like keep big and like try always running to the line out of balance okay line. yeah the sideline yeah that's and smart. i learned some new tricks yeah you did like ducking down <laughs> <laughs> when you're done doing that okay yeah you're running back oh yeah yeah you did you snuck it snuck through it mm -hmm. And he's in better shape because we conditioned the heck out of it. Uh, all right, what did you like most about the schedule today? I know that's hard. You like this? Wait, no. The running thing where you throw the ball and then I try to get past. Ah, okay. So that was like the gauntlet. Seems like you like that. He also likes the snake, which is a little bit different. But basically going one-on-one, -on -one, right? Where you're trying to get my flags, I'm but trying to get yours. Run around oh, and yeah. You okay. Did you like the sideline one or the one where we're going one-on-one? One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. Okay, all right, cool. And then last, uh, what should we change about the schedule? Anything? More conditioning. More conditioning? Oh man, that's tough. There's Not many kids are gonna say that. <laughs> that was nothing. All right, buddy, good job. Awesome, thanks guys. We'll see you in our High next five. video. High five, boom. <laughs> see ya. This is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. All right. Comment, subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff. If you're looking for playbooks, go to flag football with coachd.com and I've got it there for you. We've just released both our full playbook that has 120 plays and also age based custom playbooks. That means if you're coaching fourth and fifth graders, we've got 24 plays specific for that age group along with eight practice schedules. That means you literally don't have to think about what's going on in that practice. It's there for you. And that's it. Look, we will see you all over social media and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.